Ah, Valentine's Day. The day where lonely people get depressed and couples feel forced to do something special. Romance is often a key point in many anime. Whether it's harem or maybe just romance, there's usually something romantic present. And therefore I decided to do my Valentine special. My personal top 5 romance anime. I know there's a lot I haven't seen yet. But I think I've seen enough to make a decent top 5. Now the rules are simple. No harem animes, love triangles are possible though, and I've ranked them on entertainment and how genuine the romance is. Romance is really different for every other person, and therefore you don't have to agree with me, but just enjoy the video. We start off with Bokura by Mina Kawaiso. So this anime is not really popular for some reason. I've not heard a lot of people talking about it, but I quite liked it. The story follows Kazunari Usa, who enters a boarding house. His parents have worked somewhere else, so he can finally be independent. However, the house is filled with the strangest people. Every person is unique and there will be many left for your fictional characters. But there's more. There's also a girl who lives there called Kawai Ritsu. And damn boy, she's Kawai. Uso slowly falls in love with her and slowly the romance starts breeding between the two. This anime isn't too heavy on romance and focuses more on the comedy. However, I thought the romance between Ritsu and Usa was cute enough to grant it a number 5 spot. Number 4 is Kita Ali Nayo. I hope I pronounced it right. One of the first romance anime I've ever seen. It's about Mei Tachibana who feels like she is better off in her life without friends. As a child she got accused of killing the class pet and therefore she to avoid being hurt again, she avoids everyone. You know, this basic story. However, on school she meets the popular cool guy called Yamato. Yamato finds Mei very interesting and wants to be her friend. To avoid a stalker, Yamato kisses Mei to save her. But she finds out that after the kiss, she slowly starts developing feelings for Yamato. She finds out that the feelings are mutual and they become boyfriend and girlfriend. However, Mei has really troubles with her new life and aspersing her true feelings to Yamato. I really enjoyed uh, this anime. Mei is adorable, Yamato is a great character and the romance between the two is heartwarming. Okay, just imagine. There are robots that are almost identical to humans except for their lifespan and they're living with the humans. Sounds like something an action anime could do well, right? Well, wrong. Let's make a romance drama anime out of it. Story follows Tsukasa who enrolls with the terminal surface. These are in charge of reclaiming the so-called Giftias, which are the androids, when their lifespans expire. This makes already for some heartbreaking moments in the beginning of the anime. Suddenly Tsukasa falls in love with his partner, Ilya. Ilya never really tried to bond with anyone, since her lifespan is shorter than that of a regular human, and during the anime the lifespan is almost over. I think you can fill in the blanks. I really shipped Tsukasa and Ilya together, as they were pretty darn cute. The romance is sweet and it makes you think how much romance is worth to us. Oh boy, Planet After Story. Just making this entry already hurt my heart so much, and I'm pretty sure this is the hardest one for me to make. I have a special connection with Planet and After Story, so I might be a bit biased here, I will admit that. Planet After Story is not so much about how to be in love but more about the hardships of having a relationship. How can you support the other while dealing with your own problems? And how you should be ready to help each other no matter the problems. The romance between Tomoya and Nagisa is something you don't see a lot in high school anime and works hard to appeal to a more mature audience. I loved Planet After Story so much, but in terms of romance, it's definitely not my number one. Toradora deserves that place. Never before have I watched an anime with such a genuine romance. They don't love each other at the start. They don't suddenly fall in love. They help each other out, they hang out, they do things together. Just being there all the time for each other. Eventually you start seeing them as a couple and so do the people in the anime. In the end it is so satisfying to finally see them kiss. It was almost if a little girl inside me screamed for a bit. For me, there is no better romance anime than Torador yet, and that's why it deserves number one. What anime made your heart melt? Did it miss any good romance anime? Let me know in the comments. My name is Sirisanti, and I wish you a very good day.